Learn something in. Pati sobrang init ngayon. Mula naman kahapon na. Kaya na eh. Aking sobrang init ngayon. Oh, ito to. Big na mayroon pa. Hindi ka na kanya tulad. Salamat. Ba't kaya mas lalong uminit na yung panahon ngayon? Siguro, dunot ito sa agawa ng mga tao. Si tao lang din naman ang may gawa nito kung bakit tayo nagsapay ng anito. Pagkat ng deforestation, pagtapo ng basura sa mga ditamang bagaya, saka pagsunod ng mga plastic basura. Isa din siya sa mga rasod kung bakit sobrang ito. Siguro nga. Guys, how about you donate to the Typhoon victims? Huh? Is it okay? 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 Yes, there are two of them. This is the Grand Hall in November. Look at this. They are in 540 km from Borongan Eastern Samar. This is a high speed of 65 km per hour. On Sunday, it's possible to have a landfall or to get to the end of the day. Until the morning, Umabot na sa 5,266 na individual ang apektado ng pagbaha. Ginabayo ng gusto ng mga bagyo, matindi na rin ang mga pagbaha kamakailan. Climate change ang sinisisi ng mga eksperto. Walang bagyo ngayon sa kahit sa ang bahagi ng Pilipinas, pero mala super typhoon ang lakas ng hangin at ulan. Marami na naapektuhan ngayon, sunod-sunod na bagyo. Kapag-bago naman talaga ang panahon ngayon, ito rin ay dunok ng climate change. At marami pa yung mga sunod na bagyo. Nagbabaha ang kalalang sila. At tulad ng pagtapo ng basura sa hindi tamang napunan na devarestation. Dapat pangalagaan talaga natin ang ating kapaligiran para mabawasan ang environmental crisis. Tama. Tara, mag-donate na tayo ng relief food sa mga typhoon victims. The environment plays a significant role to support life on Earth. But there are some issues that are causing damages to life and the ecosystem of the Earth. It is related not only environment, but with everyone that lives on the planet. Our environment is constantly changing, and as our environment changes, so does the need to become increasingly aware of the environmental issues and crises that are causing these changes. With the massive increase in natural disasters, warming and cooling periods and different types of weather patterns, people need to be a lot more cautious with the way they lead their lives in conjunction with the types of environmental crisis that our planet is facing. Environmental crises and problems are the harmful effects of human activities and natural catastrophes in the environment. This includes global warming, man-made pollution, air and water pollution, deforestation, plastic or waste disposal, overpopulation, greenhouse effect, climate change, ozone layer depletion, and many more that affects our environment. Thus, we must take action to reduce the effects of destroying our environment. Climate change is a big environmental problem that humanity will face over the next decade. The most recent scientific analysis have confirmed that the observed rise in greenhouse gas concentrations from human activities, such as the burning of fossil fuels and changes in land use, is what is most likely to be responsible for the warming of the climate system since the middle of the 20th century. Overpopulation Human population continues to grow rapidly worldwide. Humanity entered the 20th century with 1.6 billion people. Right now, we're about 7.5 billion. Estimates put us at nearly 10 billion by 2050. 
growing global populations, combined with growing affluence, is putting ever greater pressure on essential natural resources like water. Soil degradation, overgrazing, monoculture planting, erosion, soil compaction, overexposure to pollutants, land use conversion. There's a long list of ways that soil are being damaged. Due to the country's many hilly and mountainous platforms, soil erosion is a major cause of land degradation in many areas. In steeply sloping and rolling topography, where forest lands have been extensively cleared, the bare soil is extremely vulnerable to accelerated erosion of topsoil brought on by heavy rainfall and the ensuring erosive force of water runoff. Man-made pollution Most human-made air pollution comes from burning fossil fuels for transportation, electricity, and industry. Carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxide, volatile organic compounds, and particulates are typical pollutants released by fossil fuel burning engines. So guys, since diba, alam na natin yung mga dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng global warming dito sa ating bansa, diba, nakikiran natin. So alam na natin yung mga like yung pagtapo ng mga basura sa mga improper way, then yung pag sunog ng mga plastic, saan niya gasun, di ba? Kung bakit sunog init tayo dito sa atin. So, ano ba yung mga dapat natin gawin upang may solusyon tayong magawa upang maiwasan natin yung gaitong sistema na ating inaharap ngayon? So, do you think may, may, ano, may idea ka ba kung ano yung mga step or mga prosedyo na kaya natin gawin? Siguro dapat magpipit uh, tayo ng wig at mag-recycle tayo ng mga plastic at uh, hindi pa bang... Tama. Tapos Ano? Based on my research, replace disposal items with reusable items. Number two, the use of paper should be avoided. Number three, conserve water and electricity. Number four, support environmental friendly practices. And number five, recycle ways to conserve natural resources. Tama guys, kasi pag ma-adapt natin yung mga, yung mga binanggit mo dyan, parang Maybe it's a simple way na makatulong tayo sa ating environment but not necessarily nga tayo lang yung ano, gagawa nito. So maybe aside from making that one, so kailangan natin to gather people also di ba? Para lang, para maging isang tayong role model para sa kanila. Para in that way, pag nag-unite nag, nag yung mga tao, nagtulong-tulungan, I think ma, malunasan natin yung problema natin na lang. Thank you.